What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today I wanna to talk about buying fly fishing equipment. Woo! All right, so I get lots of questions about buying fly fishing gear, and you know, it ranges from what should I get, how much should I spend, all this, but it's a pretty deep topic so today we're just going to kind of focus on how much you should budget for the different parts of your equipment so one thing to consider you know and this might be for somebody who's just getting into fly fishing and trying to figure out what to buy or if you're buying a present for somebody and you're trying to make sure you get the right thing or if you're getting something new, so you're gonna start doing a different type of fishing, you know, you're gonna go from saltwater fishing to freshwater fishing or vice versa. There's a few things to consider. Now, the first thing is, is you might even think about just buying a complete outfit, you know, like rod, reel, line, all put together. You know, it usually comes with a case or something like that. And most of the major manufacturers will have some type of pre-packaged outfit and they'll start at i mean like 150 bucks and that's a good way to just kind of not have to think about it it's all put together for you and if you get something from one of the more reputable brands it's usually pretty good for the price you know and they'll have different price points for these complete outfits now when it comes to brands one thing you might want to consider is actually buying it from an established brand you know uh Orvis or Sage or Reddington or you know there's there's lots of others but I would look for one of the established fly fishing brands over say something from one of the big box stores now the stuff from the big box stores I've seen has been actually pretty good but the problem you may run into is if a year from now you need some type of service or you need some parts um, those outfits may not even be available anymore at some of the big boxes, whereas most of your major manufacturers will continue to have parts and service outfits that they sell for years to come. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. Just decide what you want and buy a completely packaged kit. Now, if you want to buy the parts a la carte, I would say, you know, first you're gonna wanna decide on what's my budget, and then do I want to fish freshwater or saltwater? Um, you may be able to do both, but it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to decide on one or the other, and then just go from there. So if you're gonna do freshwater, I would say spend most of your budget on the rod, and then next, the line. <laughs> now, most people would probably think I would say spend the next amount of money on the reel, but the rod and the line are the two most important parts of your outfit, and a really good line will make a lot of difference versus getting a really good reel. So, the rod and the line, and then whatever you got left, spend that on the reel. Because usually in freshwater, you don't have to worry about, you know, your reel rusting out from exposure to salt, or most of the time you're not catching really big fish that are pulling lots of line off the reel. I mean, there are always exceptions to these you know, general rules, but for the most part, you're gonna be okay with just a click drag reel even. And there's actually some really good inexpensive reels out there. So if you had to spend, you know, most of your money on the rod and then, you know, get a good line, the best line you can, and then just whatever you got left for your reel. Now, when you move up to salt water, it's gonna be a little bit different. So still, you know, first and foremost, spend as much as you can on the rod, get the nicest rod you can get. And then it's sort of a toss up, but I'm gonna give a little bit of an edge to the reel because then you will have to worry about something that is corrosion proof. So you don't want your reel to rust out just after a couple of times out in the salt. And a lot of saltwater fish are going to pull line off the reel. So you do want to have a pretty good drag. So 
probably want to spend you know most of your money on your rod and then the next little chunk of your budget on your reel and then get the best line that you can afford but I think ultimately a really good reel, something that's going to last and the salt is going to be more important in the long run. And then next time around, you can replace your line with a better line. All right. So that's just kind of the basics, you know, freshwater, saltwater outfits. Now we spoke earlier about buying brand names. And one of the other things you want to think about, when you're getting into this, whether you're buying your first outfit or you're buying a new outfit or you're buying a present for somebody, I would suggest if you can go to a fly shop, your local fly shop and buy your outfit there. Do all your research on the internet and figure out as much as you can before you get to the shop. But if you can buy it from a fly shop, do that. You may pay a little bit more retail. You may have to pay tax. You won't have to pay shipping, but the support that you get is more than worth it. So if something goes wrong with your equipment, you need to bring something back for warranty. You break something. It's a lot easier to walk into a shop and say, hey, can we get this taken care of? And if you have questions, you know, once you get that outfit, maybe you need some help putting the line on or you need some help stringing the rod up. Um, all that stuff is gonna be provided by the folks that work at the fly shop. And I think the little bit extra that you may have to pay is more than worth it. All right, hopefully that answered some of your questions. Now, if you have further questions, you know, how to tie knots, rigging, all that kind of stuff, you should check out this video right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, all that YouTube stuff. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.